My name is Luke Thomas. I'm a co-founder here at Friday, and we're building tools to improve communication by adding process and structure to the way that you communicate at work. So with that being said, I'd like to quickly kind of talk a little bit about status update meetings and how you can really eliminate them. We think the best way of sharing information is done asynchronously instead of holding a meeting. It's our belief that a meeting is great when it's used for collaboration, right? It's that quick back and forth. It's that high energy. Um, you know, everyone in the meeting is there for a reason. They're all participating. Status update meetings is kind of the opposite. It's a poor use of your time. It's generally information sharing. And it, oftentimes you have someone who walks up to you after the fact and says, what did you do? What did you talk about? Or someone who wasn't in the meeting. Uh, asks what was covered, right? And so we just think the best way of doing this is by uh, sharing the information asynchronously. So after a lot of pain and a lot of sitting in these meetings, I try to build a tool to help you. Um, so I'd like to just quickly show you how easy it is to set up a workflow in Friday, specifically a weekly update so that you can spend less time or eliminate status update meetings altogether. So let's go through some of these steps. The first is you give it a name, give it an icon, give it a purpose. This stuff's pretty straightforward, right? So in this example, it's to share and see what everyone is working on every week, right? The next step is you can pick and choose a frequency. So in this specific example, we want to prompt people on a Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. every single week. Now, you could do it on a biweekly basis if you want, but you can do it really, it's up to you about how you want to do it. The next step is that you can build out questions and prompts so that you can get the information you need and make sure that it's flowing to the right people at the right time. So we have two questions. What did you accomplish this week? And what are your priorities for next week? One question's looking back, one question's looking forward. You can customize and add a variety of different questions, whether it's uh, open-ended questions or emojis, right? Or drop downs. You have complete customization here to get the information that you need. Then we have this little neat feature called power-ups where it attaches extra behavior and extra functionality to a regular workflow. So for example, when your team is filling out these questions, they can also send kudos or recognition to others on their team for a job well done, or they can submit suggestions or ideas for improvement. In the future, we'll have more power-ups that you can see and use. The next step is you can determine the participants, right? So maybe this is something that everyone in the company needs to do. Maybe this is something that just one team in the company needs to do. With Friday, you have complete customization over who should fill out the workflow. You can also uh, create visibility options around who should see the responses. So in this example, it could be you know only showing managers the information, but let's make everyone in the company see the the updates, right? So the information flows and we really ramp up the level of transparency inside the company. The final step is that we now need to prompt people to complete the workflow, right? Because of just manually reminding people to do this, you're going to act like a micromanager. It's not fun. It's annoying. And this is something that computers and bots are really good at doing instead. So with Friday, you could set up the prompt to go out in Slack or over email and soon Microsoft Teams. When people fill out the response, you could send an email or you could push the information into a Slack channel or a Microsoft Teams channel. It's really up to you about where you want the information to go. Finally, if someone doesn't fill out the workflow in a reasonable amount of time, you can configure and can send final reminders so that they uh, you know, are made aware and submit the information that they should. Now, when you activate a workflow in Friday, the information will show up in a feed, right? So you can see a chronological view of the updates as they come in. And additionally, there will be reporting options. So you can see things like response rate, you can see sentiment, and you can see other key bits of information um, about those uh, status updates, right? So once again, the goal is to save you time in meetings or eliminate the status update meetings altogether. Um, we really think this is a perfect use case for technology to free you up and give you more time for meaningful work. So I hope you have a great day and I hope this was useful for you. Thanks.